Hey guys, so I wanted to make a quick video because a student reached out to me uh, asking about converting characters from lowercase to uppercase and vice versa. So I thought I would just make a quick video just going over uh, what that might look like in NASM and uh, how you would go about uh, thinking about that logically. So let's first start as usual in our Python 3 shell and I'll give you an idea of what we're looking at. So uh, say for example we have 4C uh, for character C in some sample string um, like this and we'll just print uh, C dot upper and we'll see here that our sample string was an initially lowercase and we've converted it to uppercase so this is exactly what we're going to make in NASL Okay, so I've hopped back into our ASM file that we were working with last time, uh, and we can see here that we still have our same sample string, and we have our for loop over the for char. Um, so we'll use that as our base, and I encourage you, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, go check out the other videos on this playlist. They go over a basic loop and iterating through a string uh, in a loop format. So if you're if you're stuck already and you're not sure what I'm talking about, go check those out. They're they're a good resource for you. So I'm going to use the same foundation again. Uh, so I'm not going to bother about talking about loops at all. All this video is going to talk about is converting from uppercase to or from lowercase sorry up to uppercase. And I will leave as an exercise if you so choose uh, to do the opposite. So if you're still kind of stuck and you want some more want a little bit more practice. Uh, try working out the opposite logic and giving that a go. So first of all, uh, we'll start out and we'll look at this this loop and we'll say this is the portion of the loop where we actually print the char, right? So we'll separate we'll separate our loop again into two parts, more or less. Um, this is our conditional logic and this is the portion of our loop that takes care of printing the character, right? Nothing too complicated here. So one thing we need to consider is how these characters are actually stored in memory. All of these characters are actually each just individual ASCII characters. So I encourage you to go online, check out and look for an ASCII uh, character chart if you're not sure quite what I'm talking about, but basically each of these is represented uh, by some integer number. Uh, and that integer number to us is actually not very important because we are going to use referencing to decide what integer number we have. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, we're going to do, do a very easy comparison uh, to AL. And we're just going to check if AL, uh, compare AL to the lowercase value A. And lowercase A is our lower bound on what could be considered a lowercase letter, right? There's no lowercase letter that'll have a lower ASCII value than lowercase a. And what we need to say here is in the case that we have an ASCII value that's lower than this a, so we're going to jump if it's below, uh, we're going to go to the print char. Because in this case, we don't need to handle anything. We know for a fact that our character that's in AL right now is not a lowercase character. And that's all we need to know. So then we need to look at our upper bound. So we'll compare AL to Z. Z is the highest possible ASCII character that we could get that's lowercase, right? So we'll use the exact same uh, logic just in the upper bound scenario. And we'll say if we get something that's above, we'll move to print char. Because if we have something greater than Z, we know for a fact that it is not a lowercase. So if we get to this line here, uh, we know AL must be lowercase. In other terms, we know that AL is somewhere in the range of a 
to z, right? We know that because we've checked with our conditions. So what do we need to do if al is in that range? Well, it's simple. We know that each character is offset by some value, right? To be part of that ASCII chart. So we know that a, for example, is offset by zero as a lowercase letter. And we know that Z is the 26th lowercase letter. So it's offset by 26. So to get that offset, we'll just simply subtract from AL the value of A, right? So this will give us the offset. If we have A in that register, we'll get zero. And if we have Z in that register, we'll have 26, right? Or 25. So, uh, all then we need to do to go to uppercase is we'll add to AL the value of A. So what will this do? This will, will, this will add the offset of ASCII to become a capital, right? So we already have some, some numeric, uh, along the numeric line of a character representation here, right? So a being 0 offset, B being 1 offset, all the way up to Z being 25th offset. And then we're just going to add that offset to our base value of uppercase letters. And that's all we need to do. At this point, we'll, it'll handle and go to print char. And we should be ready to run and execute this. So let's go ahead and save. And we'll make it. And execute. And as you can see, we get the same output that we got in Python. Hope this helped you out. If you have more questions, please send me an email. Uh, reach out to me on Teams. Uh, I'm trying my best to help you guys out with this. Um, and all the best with your final projects.